Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter three, lesson 10. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. I have rewritten the numbers over here so that we have a little more room to work, okay? So what you need to do in order to find out what the rule is, the rule just means what you do each time going from each number to the next, okay? So right now we're only working with adding and subtracting. So if the numbers are going up, then you're adding. If they're going down, you're subtracting. Okay, so 25 to 24, that's going to be subtract. Okay, now we need to find out how much we're subtracting. Okay, so we need to take any two numbers that are right next to each other, and we need to subtract the smaller one from the larger one. So 25.7 minus 24.1. Okay, bring your decimal down. 7 minus 1 is 6, 5 minus 4 is 1, and 2 minus Two is zero. Now, I'm going to do the other set that's right next to each other just to see if I get the same number, okay? So 20.9 minus 19.3, okay? So I'm going to get, first I'm going to drop my decimal, 9 minus 3 is 6, 0 cannot take away 9, I'm going to borrow, making that 10 take away 9 is 1, 1 1.6 again, okay? So my rule subtract 1.6. Okay, the last thing that I have to do is I have to take the 2.41, or sorry, 24.1, and I need to subtract 1.6 to find out what this blank is. Okay, so 24.1 take away 1.6. Okay, so 1 can't take away 6. I'm going to borrow 1, making that 11. Okay, dropped my decimal. A little late, but I did drop it. Okay, 11 minus 6 is 5. 3 minus 1 is 2. And then I'm going to bring my 2 down. So 22.5. Okay? All right. That was number 2. On number 3, you guys are going to do that. You totally can. I am going to help you do number 4 because it's going the opposite way. And that's kind of a big gap to fill. Okay, from 1 to 6 and 6 to 9. Okay, that's just kind of a big gap to fill. So we're going to do this one together. Okay, so this is number four. Number three, you are going to do it, okay? All right, so I'm gonna take two of the numbers that are right next to each other. Well, first I'm gonna decide if it's add or subtract. The numbers are going up, that means add. Okay, since we're only working with addition and subtraction, that means add, okay? So I'm gonna take 9.25 and 6.75, and I'm gonna see when I subtract them, what the difference is, okay? I know I'm adding here, but I'm subtracting just so that I know how much I'm adding, okay? So, drop my decimal, five minus five is zero, two cannot take away seven, I'm going to borrow one, making it 12. 12 take away seven is five, and eight minus six is two. So I'm going to be adding 2.5 each time, okay? So now, the last thing that I have to do is fill in that blank. So I'm going to take the 1.75 that's right before it. I'm going to add 2.5. Actually, I'm going to add that 2.50 just so that I have something right. Oh, sorry. Something in that column. Okay, just easier when you have something in the column. Okay, I'm going to drop my decimal. 5 plus 0, 5. 7 plus 5, 2. 12, sorry, sorry, the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2 more is 4. So in that blank, it should say 4.25, okay? All right, so you guys are going to do number 2 and number 4 on your own. You totally can. I believe in you, okay? We are going to go ahead and do number 5, okay? Now, it says that our rule is to add 0 0.9, okay? It wants us okay, it wants us actually I'm going to fill this one in for us because it wants us to start at 17.3 and then use the rule to fill out the next four. Oh, actually, 17.3 can be our first one. We don't have to do that one. Okay, so 
So I'm going to take 17.3 and I'm going to add 0 0.9. Okay. That's my first one. Okay. So drop my decimal. 3 plus 9 is 12. Carry the 1. 1 plus 7 is 8 plus 0, still 8. I'm going to bring that one down. Our next one is 18.2. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to not write a new problem for the next one and just put it right there. If you need to write a new one and put 18.2 plus 0 0.9, you totally can. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to drop my decimal. 2 plus 9 is 11. Carry the 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. Plus 0 is still 9. And I'm going to bring down that 1. That makes my next one. 19.1. Okay. All right, guys. Last one. Okay. I'm going to drop down my zero or my decimal. 1 plus 9, 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 9 again, 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 1, 2. 20. Okay. Can you put 20.0? Absolutely, you can. Do you have to? No. Okay. So, Pause this, write down your work, whatever you need to do. This is number five. Okay. All right. So you guys do number six on your own. Okay. It tells you where your your what your first point is, and it tells you what to do after that. Okay. So you guys just need to go ahead and do that one on your own. Okay. We are going to do number seven. And it says the right at store rents bicycles. The cost is $8.50 for one hour, $13.65 for two hours, $18.80 for three hours, and $23 for four hours. If the pattern continues, how much will it cost Nate to rent a bike for six hours? So we need to keep going two more. Okay. So I know I have $8.50. I have 1365. I have 1880. I have 2395. Okay, so I need to do two more of those. Okay, in order to find out that sixth one. Okay, so I need to take two numbers that are right next to each other. So I'm just going to take the smallest, the smallest two to find out how much I need to add. Okay. So 1365 minus 850, okay, five, oh, decimal, five minus zero, five, six minus five, one, 13 minus eight, five. So I'm just adding $5.15 each time, okay? So don't forget to put your dollar sign in your answer one, okay? So I'm going to take the 2395 that's here, because I can't see. Skip that one just because I need to get to this one. And I'm going to add five dollars and fifteen cents. Drop that decimal. Okay. Five plus five is zero. Carry the or ten, sorry, ten, carry the one. One plus nine is ten, plus one more is eleven, carry the one. One plus three is four, plus five is nine, and bring down my two. So now my last one that's going to get me this is I'm going to put that twenty-nine dollars and ten cents, and I'm going to add the eight dollar oh no i'm sorry oops let me rewrite that so that it's clear okay the 29 dollars and 10 cents and i'm going to add the five dollars and 15 cents then that'll give me my last one okay so this one was 29 10 we need that last one okay so drop my decimal zero plus five five one plus one two nine plus five 14 carry the one and one plus two three so, $34.25, okay? Do not forget to put in your dollar sign, okay? Okay, pause it, show your work, make sure you're showing your work, okay? All right, let me get rid of this page. Okay. Lynn walks dogs every day to earn money. The fees she charges per month are one dog, $40, two dogs, 
two dogs, thirty-seven twenty-five each. Three dogs, thirty-four dollars and fifty cents each. Four dogs, thirty-one seventy-five each. A pet store wants her to walk eight dogs. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going from forty. Okay, we're going thirty-seven twenty-five each. Okay. Three dogs is thirty-four fifty each. Okay. And four dogs was thirty-one seventy-five each. So we need to keep going four more times. Okay. And then we need to multiply that by eight dogs, okay? Oh, each of the eight dogs. So we don't actually have to multiply it at the end, okay? It just wants to know for each of the eight dogs. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take these two right here and I'm gonna go ahead and subtract them so that I know my rule, okay? Okay, this one I could do, but then I have to add in decimal point, two zeros. I have to go all the way over and borrow. It's just a hassle. So I'm just going to take these two. As long as it's two that are right next to each other, it doesn't matter which two. Okay, so drop our decimal. Five minus zero, still five. Two cannot take away five. I'm going to borrow one, making it 12. 12 minus five is seven. Six minus four is two. And three minus three is nothing. So each time I am subtracting, $2.75. So I'm going to start with $31.75. I'm going to take away $2.75. Okay. Drop my decimal. Okay. 5 minus 5, 0. 7 minus 7, 0. 1 minus 2, 0. That can't be done. I'm going to borrow that, make that 11. 11 minus 2 is 9, and I'm going to bring down that 2. Okay. So now I'm at $29. And I need to take away two dollars and seventy-five cents. Okay, this one twenty-nine dollars. Okay. Every time I'm going to take away two dollars and seventy-five cents. Okay. Zeros can't take away anything. I need to borrow one from this, making it an eight. Okay. This is why I use colored pens so you guys can see my work. Okay. I still need to borrow one over here, so that one's going to become a nine. Now that one's a ten. Drop my decimal. Five, nine take away seven is two, eight take away two is six, and two. Okay, 26, 25. Okay, now again, take away two, 75. Okay, all right, drop my decimal. Five minus five is zero. Two cannot take away seven, I need to borrow one, making that 12. 12 take away 7 is 5. 5 take away 2 is 3. I can bring down my 2. 23.50. Okay? All right. Last time. Okay? Take away 2.75. And 0 cannot take away 5. I'm going to go ahead and borrow 1, making it 10. Drop my decimal. 10 minus 5, 5. 4 cannot take away 7. I need to borrow 1. Okay, making it 14. 14 take away 7 is 7. 2 take away 2 is 0, and I can bring down this last 2. So, $20.75. That's your answer for $1.75 each. Okay? All right. Pause this. Write down your work. I know it's a lot of work, and I'm sorry, but it is what it is, guys. Okay? So, we're going to go ahead onto the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check. Okay? We are going to do this file review. Okay? So, I'm going to rewrite this problem over here. Give us a little more room to work. Okay? For this file review, it just says to find the product. Well, the product is just the answer to a multiplication problem. Okay, so 
Six times four is 24, four again, carry the two. Six times eight is 48, plus two more is 50, carry the five. Six times two is 12, plus five is 17, okay? I'm gonna come in with another color so that you guys can see my work. I'm gonna tick, I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna toe, okay? We tick off the numbers we carried before so we don't confuse them and use them again. We tick off, we tap off the number that we've just multiplied by so we don't accidentally use that again. And then we toe, put our placeholder zero in, okay? So now three times four is 12, carry the one. Three times eight is 24, plus one is 25, carry the two. Three times two is six, plus two is eight. Go ahead and add those up. Four, two, seven plus five is 12, carry the one. One plus one is two, plus eight is 10. 10,224. Okay. Okay. Make sure you write your work down, okay? At a sale, a shoe store sold eight pairs of shoes for a total of $256. Each pair cost the same amount. What was the price of each pair of shoes? So, I'm going to fold this page in half so we can just use the other side of this. Actually, I'm going to fold it in quarters so we have more of it. Okay? All right. So, $256. Okay? And... They sold eight pairs of shoes. They want to know how much each pair of shoes cost because they cost the same amount. Okay? Eight's not going to go into two. Placeholder X. Okay? Eight will go into 25 three times. Three times eight is 24. Subtract, get one. Okay? One is definitely smaller than eight, so I can bring down my six. Eight goes into 16 two times. Two times eight is 16. All right, so $32 is your answer okay make sure you show your work okay okay all right turn the paper over here okay number five says marcy jogged 0 0.8 mile on wednesday and 0 0.9 mile on thursday how far did she jog on the two days? So all we're doing is adding those up, which I guess I could probably just do on here. So 0 0.8, 0 0.9, add them up. Okay, so the very first thing that I need to do is drop my zero or my decimal, not my zero, my decimal, drop my decimal. And eight plus nine is 17, carry that one and then bring it down. So 1.7 miles. All right, Bob has 5.5 cups of flour. He uses 3.75 cups of flour. How much flour does Bob have left? So 5.5 minus 3.75. Remember, there's no number here. Put a zero. It's after the decimal point. It's just fine. Okay. All right, zero cannot take away five. I'm going to borrow, making that a 10. Okay. 10 minus 5. Oh, I forgot to drop my decimal. You see that, guys? Don't see that. 10 minus 5. 5. 4 cannot take away 7. I'm going to borrow 1, making it 14. 14 minus 7 is 7. 4 minus 3 is 1. That is how many cups of flour. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 3.10, come on back for 3.11, see you soon.